another walk to the marina. It is our final day fishing with Capos Fish Adventures. We are doing another day of inshore for rooster fish again. We've got our fingers crossed for at least one or two more rooster fish. It's gonna be a nice day. Yeah, I'm kind of sad we're leaving. Are you sad we're leaving? Yeah. Tomorrow? Yeah, a little Maybe bit. Tomorrow. But they're catching a lot of wahoo back in Venice yeah, right now. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> I'm kind of not sad. So we're kind of not sad because we want to go catch some wahoo, but, but no. We're gonna catch some awesome rooster fish today, hopefully. And we're going on a different boat today and we're fishing with two other guys. But we're with Josh, I think Tony. We'll find out who else we're with today. So they're fishing, taking us out on this very similar boat. We're doing the same thing. Another one. Cuidado, cuidado. here in Capos, Costa Rica. Uh, we are not fishing today, so we kind of have some free time until about 11.30 when we have to be back at the airport. In my hotel room, as you can see, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a workout. Really, it is so easy to do, to get a good workout in anywhere you are. It doesn't have to be a huge space, a gym, you can do something for your body anywhere that you are. What I brought actually with me on this trip are some of those uh, hip circles or, or bands like booty bands or glute bands but I'm going to use those today in my workout and another thing you can use if you really want to use weight is your bag. I put as much stuff in it as I could to make it as uh, heavy as I could for now so that I can use it as a weight. Since I haven't worked out in so long I like to focus on the glutes and the legs because they're a very large muscle and if you haven't worked out in a while and you kind of want to get more of a full body a good sweat work the biggest muscles in your body. I want to do a little bit of core too which is a lot of core exercises or body weight. Let's do this. Cheers. Here's my pre-workout coffee. I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna get to my workout. I have my workout written down here on my phone. 16 minute AMRAP, that means as many rounds as possible of these exercises within 16 minutes. I'm gonna start with the warm up.
say we love, we say we love. Okay, warm up is done. It's time to get to the workout. We gave it all, we gave it all. Until something better came along out now yeah can you see the sweat I'll put the whole exercise in the description box below so you can see how many reps I did and uh, what the names of the exercises are and stuff like that oh my gosh that last ex exercise really wiped me out the bag 12 12 pounds at least some cool down stretching which is very important don't just uh, lay down on your back after your workout or you feel like you want to but make sure you get up and walk around stretch a little bit, drink a lot of water, especially when you're traveling. It's really important to be drinking a lot of water. It is very hot here and air conditioning is not 100%. So if you're in a country, a very tropical climate country, you drink, make sure you're drinking a lot of water. Also what I wanted to explain to you is everything that you need to know to get yourself to Capos. Really, it sounds a little complicated because you do have to take two different planes, but it's an adventure, it's not ridiculously expensive, and it's a great destination. It's safe, people are friendly here, a lot of them speak English. Also, the Cologne, the Costa Rican currency, is weak to the American dollar right now. So if you're in America, your money's gonna be a little bit stronger over here. Today, we're gonna be just, just be doing everything that we did to get here in reverse. So. Uh, it's going to be the taxi back to the Cape Coast Airport, the little Sansa puddle jumper plane to the major airport in San Jose, the capital, and then from there have a connecting flight. For, depends where you're from. But we're going to go to Atlanta, then back to New Orleans. And that's it. That's our trip. Of course, I will be leaving everything in the description boxes below all of these um, videos that I'm doing for Cabo's Fish Adventures. They are awesome. I'd like to say thank you, Cabo's Fish Adventures, for having us, having us, taking us fishing. I had a great time. So thank you, Cabo's Fish Adventures. All of the information will be in the description box below this video. You can contact John Shusher. He is American. He, he speaks perfect English. Email him. He is very quick to respond, and he will send you a very detailed PDF. Um, letter that he sends to everyone before they go fishing. It's got everything you need to know, so it's easy. This is my second trip to Capos, and I totally plan on coming back. So, I hope you enjoyed this little series I've been doing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the little subscribe button, because I'd love to have you here. That's it, guys. That's it. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Flickering through memories, the Polaroids, yellowed in sun longing to be seen so come and hide hide